According to police, it's a crime that's on the rise and it may affect many of you at home. We're talking about copper theft. Lots of folks found themselves victim as air conditioners and telephones suddenly stopped working because they were stripped of the metal. Fox 10 News reporter Derek Williams spoke with one local police chief who wants something done about the problem. Whether it's heaping truckloads or even small broken up pieces, scrapyards are seeing more copper come in in many different forms. These coils and pipes may look like scrap, but this copper is very valuable. A bucket like this is worth a few hundred dollars easy. Why is copper so valuable? It's, it pays, uh, like most things pay, 10, 12 cents a pound. Copper's like $3 a pound. But police say not all transactions are on the up and up. The crime as it relates to um, metal theft now is running rampant and, and was, we've got to do something about it. We've had a number of uh, theft, as you know, with AT&T, uh, who I think have probably lost in excess of over half a million dollars. Pritchard Police Chief Jimmy Gardner is fed up with the metal thefts and is seeking legislation to make a change. It includes a 48 to 72 hour wait before the seller gets paid. Uh, so we can have what we call a look. Uh, so, so if the scrapyard says that we have an individual who bring in a material that looks suspicious, uh, then, then the, the agency in that area can go and look uh, before that, that that individual is actually able to receive cash for whatever metal that uh, material that he may have turned into the scrapyard. I think it's good. Kathy Goldman, the manager at L&D Scrapyard, agrees. She says some customers are honest people trying to make a living and the others give them a bad name. You know, you just have to watch the characteristics of people. Police say it's hard trying to link evidence to the suspects, so a new procedure could help make arrests and reduce the number of thefts. With that's working together, I think we're going to find an end to this situation, but we must, we must work together to get it done. Reporting from Mobile County, Derricka Williams, Fox 10 News. Now, police tell us they do have a few people of interest who they think are responsible for some of the recent copper theft. A $5,000 reward is being offered for any information leading to the arrest in the AT&T thefts.